Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video we want to speak about the Elgato Stream Deck application software and how you can create plugins. In this video I will speak about how you can register the plugin. So when your plugin is loaded and you press the button, then the plugin is registered correctly in your hardware or your software from Elgato. It's pretty nice and it's not so hard as it sound. But it's uh, important you know the basic about that, else you will never uh, be unable to work with the uh, with the Elgato deck. So let's uh, let's begin that. And before we begin, I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel in the right corner below on the present thing. Like it and share it with your friends so their friends can see how we basically can code for the Elgato hardware. And uh, if you have any questions, please make the comments below. I'll try to answer them as fast as I can. And of course, I'm very happy to help if I can do something for you. Thank you and uh, let's get starting to coding up. When you're coding for Elgato uh, and you use the JavaScript here, we need to set the script and then we need the function and you need to connect to Elgato stream deck socket. This function will be the function Elgato uh, hardware and software will be called when the register your plugin and try to do something with it. So it's very important you have this function, else it will never work. And to do this, we need the import and we need the in uh, plugin UUID so we know what is the UUID of this plugin on your hardware. And then we need to which uh, which events we have to work with, and then the in info and the information about it. And I will start to make a console log here so you can see what's happening. And this is very basic and I really hope it's working again. But I have sometimes when I demonstrate something, it's not always work as I have expected and I have prepared for that. But uh, that's the fun by coding. It's something you, you think about it's working. It's not always working. And this will be uh, enough to show that in the browser and open your debug up and going for the local host and the port number and then I'm going for the hello world this is my debug here and you can see the connect Elgato stream deck socket doesn't exist I'm just reload a little bit here and then you can see it now this is the port number and this is the socket port and then the plugin UUID and we have to register the plugin uh, and then we have the information about something else the language should be English language and, and that's so far. Of course, I will not speak so much about how you can change the language in this. I will just do it in the with the English. That's fine. So let's go back for the for the editor again and, and continue to, to code about the plugin. And now we will go in for the WebSocket. And the, the WebSocket should be uh, on open. I, I miss something here. I, uh, of course, I miss. The, the web socket on but yeah let's uh, on open and I'll just connect for that and uh, just a minute so that yeah let's connect for the web socket first and the way we can connect for the web socket is just to say uh, web socket is equal to new web socket and then we need the VS here and the local host and the, then we need to say the import then the the framework uh, node it needs to the new web socket and then it's connecting for this one it's pretty simple we don't need this one and then we have the web socket on open and uh, when we uh, open it we want to register the plugin correct so create the var uh, json with the json data and uh, we need the event and in register is event and then we need the UUID about this and in plugin UUID we have it here and before we can send it I will just demonstrate which uh, which data the will be sending for the WebSocket WebSocket uh, on open JSON data and JSON here and then we need to WebSocket and we need to send it JSON String 5 and JSON. Let's go back for the debug again. 
and see how it's working. Now you can see we have sending it the event. We have sending the event back for, for that. And this is the UUID. We have about the plugin. We have it here. So now you basically have the, the basic know-how how you can register your plugin uh, in the Elgato uh, streaming deck uh, application SDK. So what we're gonna do now is we need a listener. The listener we need to to listen by if you make the key down, key up, and something like that. And uh, then web socket on message, and this should be function. And this should be the event. And the console log uh, event on message event triggered. And then the event. Let's go back for the debug here again and reload it. And you can see when I'm when I'm going inside, I'll just open this so you can see it here. And when I'm going inside, it should be rig rate three plugins. You can see it. It's a uh, the first one is something one two three four five six seven. Okay, the first one should be something like uh, it, it's tricking key down rig rate plugin. And uh, when I'm clicking here, you can see the key down. So everything is working as we should be, and and then we are ready. If I'm going away from the display, it's uh, going up. So I can just go inside and going outside. And everything is working. So now we are ready for the next video where I'll explain a little bit more uh, about the how you can work with this, I think. And yeah, let's just say on close it's equal to function and then console bar web socket connection is closed. That's mean if something is closed to connection, we will debug that. But I don't think that's necessary. I'm really happy to have you here today. And I really hope you want to enjoy me for the next video about the Elgato application SDK development. So I really hope you want to subscribe. Press the thing below in the right corner and then you will subscribe to my channel. And uh, like and share this video if you want. And I really hope you want to uh, smash the comments field if you have any questions for me or about what I'm doing. Or so of course about the Elgato products and I'll try to answer that. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.